Hi everyone, and welcome to Gwen Collects. Today's video is a pretty exciting one because it's something I've been wanting to do for a while and just finally found the time to actually do. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I lit up my detolfs. I've seen a lot of people online setting up their detolfs and doing all the lighting, and I always think it looks so cool. Um, regardless of how the lights are done, I've seen like pot lights throughout, I've seen like strips on the on the edge of each one. Um, and then I've seen obviously what I did here. It might be a little bit hard to tell because it is daytime, but I did an LED strip around. So I've seen lots of different methods for lighting up detolfs, but I wanted something that I could change the color on and that just kind of looked, I don't know, just overall lit up the whole thing and looked cool. So I went with some LED strips and honestly, I'm super, super pleased with how the lighting came out. I've always been a little bit afraid to light up my detolfs because first you have to drill a hole most of the time in your detolfs in order to get like the wires out and everything. And second, I just wasn't sure if I was like <laughs> smart enough to do it. Like I didn't want to mess up my detolf and then have just a bunch of like janky lights inside. So. I put it off for a long time, but I finally decided that I really, really wanted to have some lighting in here, especially at night. There aren't actually any ceiling lights in this room, so the only lighting is a lamp behind me and a lamp over there. So having some lights for my detolfs really kind of just lights up the room and makes it so you can admire my figures at all times of the day. When I decided to make this video, I wasn't sure how the lights were going to turn out, so I wasn't sure if this was going to be a tutorial or just an epic fail of a video, but they turned out great and I think the stuff that I did throughout this project can actually translate to a lot of people's detolfs. So I think I'll call this a tutorial and maybe it'll inspire at least one of you to light up your detolfs as well because I can assure you at night seeing my figures lit up just oh, makes me feel so good and I think I think everyone deserves to feel good about their figures and their figure display. So I'm really excited about this video. I'm excited to show you guys how I did this and you'll actually get to see some clips of my dad. He's making a special appearance in this video to help me put these lighting rigs together. So that's all I have to say for the intro. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope that it helps you if you are a little bit worried about putting some lights in your detolf. So let's get started. All right, so first up, these are the LED light strips that I used. They're by Govi, and this is what comes in the box. So you get a remote, a plug-in, some wall brackets, and of course the lights. So before beginning, I wanted to test the lights. So with the set that I got, I got the 32.8 foot lights, which is basically two 16 foot lights looped together. So here you can see I'm just checking all of the modes, making sure that all of the lights work and they're not burnt out before I put in the time and effort to put these into the detail. So now I'm just cleaning out the figures from my detail. Uh, I definitely recommend you remove your figures before doing this uh, because you'll need to remove the shelves just to make your life way, way, way easier. Um, so yeah, here I'm just removing all of them. I made sure to put them somewhere safe because uh, my cats love to knock them over if they have the chance and I don't want any broken figures. That would be a tragedy. So I made sure to put them in a room with a closed door. And if you have cats, I would recommend the same. All right, so once those were cleaned out and I pulled out the shelves, this is what the detolfs looked like. It's bringing me back to when I built them. So once all of the figures and the shelves were, were removed, I just wiped down the inside with some Windex and a paper towel just to make sure the inside was very nice and clean. After that, we got onto the drilling. So I got my dad to help me with this part. Essentially, he just picked a drill bit and drilled down. We made sure not to drill through any of the feet. I would definitely recommend if you do it our way to put some kind of uh, cutting board underneath. We ruined this cutting board, so just beware. <laughs> Uh, here I am just vacuuming up the sawdust. Um, I don't love these gender norms, but whatever. My dad is better at drilling than I am and I can use a vacuum, so. <laughs> uh, also, here's my cat. She's just cute, so I left this clip in. 
Alright, so here you can see my dad and I just kind of getting set up. So I had the lights and I just started to unroll the first strip that we're going to be putting in this detail. And I also handed my dad the remote. So that remote is what communicates with the external controller. So there's like a wireless controller that communicates with that remote there. And you can see the little black sensor kind of sticking off of it. So I would recommend making sure that remote is visible to the controller because otherwise you won't be able to control the lights wirelessly. We ended up putting it uh, behind the TV. So here my dad just tipped the detolf over so that I could feed the light strip through the hole that he drilled. So it shouldn't be difficult. Uh, it also shouldn't feel like it's like catching or anything. Make sure you drilled a big enough hole. I'll insert the size of the drill bit that we used um, into this video somewhere so that you know and I'll link it down below in the description but yeah so I'd also recommend getting two people to do this part uh, it really helps to have one person feeding the light strip through from one side and the other one pulling it through from the other so it just helps to make sure that you're not damaging the light strip at all and it's not catching on anything as you pull it through so once we felt that we had enough through, I just kind of looped it up through the metal rods to make sure. Um, you can loop it up through and then just go onto the other side and then bring it down the other side. You'll see me doing that here. And then once it's looped through, you're pretty much good to go. After that, all you have to do is start sticking the lights on. So first I used an alcohol prep pad that came with the lights to just wipe down the areas where I would be applying them. So that was up the two sides and on the top. Now, these alcohol pads are tiny. Like <laughs> you can see me here being very confused at how tiny they are, but um, I guess al alcohol pads usually are. I don't know why I thought they would be big, but anyway. <laughs> Once you're done wiping it down, it's time to stick these on. So what I did is I just peeled up the protective like tape thing and stuck on as I went. The instructions say to stick it on and hold it for about 10 to 15 seconds for each section that you do. But I was impatient, so I just held it on when I thought I should. And I mean, it worked, so, <laughs> you know, it's fine. Additionally, I used the vertical metal bars in the detolf as a guide, so I kind of went just just on the inside of them with the lights. So the top was definitely the hardest part. You get some weird angles there. You can see my, my poses to try and make sure it's straight. Um, you got to make sure that you're not tipping too far and going towards the door. So just make sure you try to keep it as straight as possible as you go along the top. And then going down the other side is much, much easier and much quicker than going up the first side. So yeah. So here is just kind of the end of it. I just wanted to show how I did the ending. You can see me super excited because this was the first time my dad tried out the lights. Uh, but essentially, since the hole is drilled a little bit further back than I placed the LED strips, due to not drilling through the, the foot of the detolf, I just kind of angled the strip back as I got to that bottom section. And it honestly looks fine. You can barely even tell. Um, now that it's complete. So that, that's what I would recommend unless you want to just put the LED strip a little bit further in than I did Like an inch or two towards the inside So once I got close to the exit hole I just made sure that the LED strip was stuck down nicely and then left the rest of the tape backing on the LED strip So you can see there's a bit of extra LED strip That was just so that we have a little bit of slack in case we ever wanted to move these so here you can see the finished detolf. I think it looks really, really nice. I'm super happy with how it turned out. So here I am just putting all of my figures back in. I thought I would just put a little, a little montage of it because I know I like seeing how people organize their shelves. You can see my dad playing with the lights as I put the stuff in. We were pretty excited about it. I definitely recommend color changing ones just cause it's more fun, I think. And these Govy ones also have quite a few white modes. So there are a few like warmer whites and cooler whites. So here's a pretty warm white that comes available on it. And I think it looks super nice. So all in all, this was a pretty easy lighting method, I think for the Detolf. And I think they just turned out fantastic. So I would highly recommend using the Govy strips. I know they come in a pack of one. If you have a single Detolf, that is just 16 feet. 
So if you'd like to use that, that's definitely an option as well. All in all, I'm really happy with how this turned out and I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.